We propose a novel GPU optimization technique for the recent Kinetic Solver to enable highly efficient and high quality fluid simulations. Note that scattered smoke around the inlet due to rough terrain there. Traditional fluid simulation methods usually solve the incompressible Navier-Stokes equations, which are difficult to be well parallelized due to global solves. Instead, we discretize Boltzmann equations into a set of lattice Boltzmann equations, which can be easily solved by a streaming and a collision process. Note that these two operations are highly parallelizable. However, a straightforward implementation of these two operations is still slow especially when immersed boundary method is used to handle solid boundary conditions more flexibly. In this paper, we propose GPU optimizations to improve memory performance, reduce load imbalance and warp divergence, as well as increase GPU occupancy. Fluid nodes can be organized in memory with AOS, SOA and CSOA data layouts, where CSOA has been suggested due to coalesced memory access and improved caching. However, when immersed boundary method is used with a large amount of solid samples, a new data layout should be designed, which work together with CSOA for fluid nodes. We propose a block-based data layout for solid samples, where we first find the bounding box of the solid, which is then divided into subdomains of equal length L. These subdomains are stored in the order of fluid nodes, and within each subdomain, the solid samples are sorted by Z ordering. The fluid nodes are still organized by CSOA, with an interpolation parameter α. Note that L and α will be optimized to find optimal data layout. In addition to data layout, a straightforward implementation of force spreading an immersed boundary method by gathering solid samples around a fluid may lead to significant load imbalance. We instead spread the force from solid samples with atomic addition to largely improve load balancing. On the other hand, domain boundary is usually handled by bounce back scheme, which may introduce warp divergence. We eliminate this problem by processing each face of the boundary with separate kernels. Finally, complex algebraic expression in collision kernel may require too many registers and reduce GPU occupancy. We simplify such expression with multiple kernel launches to improve occupancy. Here, we first compare with existing kinetic method. Our method produces turbulent flows with the highest quality. After optimization, the performance of our high-quality kinetic solver has also been largely improved. We also compare with reflection advection McCormack solver using different time step sizes and under different grid resolutions, showing superior performance improvement with similar level of visual quality. Note that due to higher convergence of our solver, we can obtain similar visual quality at a lower grid resolution, but with even larger performance improvement. Our method can also be easily extended to multi-GPUs to enable higher resolution or even faster computations. As visual results, we show moderate grid resolution simulations. Here is a simulation of two jets colliding with each other over a ball. We also simulate a one-way coupling of rotating torus where the surrounding smoke will be stirred to form complex turbulent patterns. Here is the zoom-in view of the turbulent smoke around the torus. As demonstrations of our high-resolution simulations on the GPU, we show an airplane passing through smoke to create turbulent wake flows. We also simulate a high-resolution airflow around a car to create turbulent wake. Here is a zoom-in view of the turbulent wake. Thanks for watching.